Hey guys, welcome back to another video here at Creators Daily. In today's video, we'll see how to create a simple masking transition in Filmora. But before starting this tutorial, if you don't have the latest version of Filmora, then make sure to download it from the link in the description below because this video is only possible in the latest version of Filmora. And if you are new to this channel, then make sure to hit the subscribe button and follow for more amazing tutorials. Now let's get started. So as you can see, I am Filmora right now. So as you can see, I have added two videos over here and both these videos are motion videos so let me bring this first video into the timeline so how this uh, transition works is that we take an object which is stationary and which covers the entire screen and what we do when, when the other object is moving behind it and when we pan the camera we try to mask out the other side of this object so similarly uh, this is done in multiple ways where you have, might have seen when there is a panning happening over behind a tree and suddenly it is transitioned to the next video so for this video i am taking as this pillar as my uh, stationary object which is uh, stationary at one place and standing perpendicular and then i will mask it there is masking of a different level where there is not one stationary object when you can do it even for a person walking but that is not really possible in filmora because the shape there is a limitation of masking in filmora currently so in future they might have a pen tool for masking us out with the specific shape and all curves and all so that might happen in the future but with the current version which is filmora 11 this is we can do a masking with only objects which are stationary and which have perfect shapes like a line or a square or something like that so for this video what i will do i can you can see there is uh, the gap between the pillar over here so what i will do i will crop this and uh, so keep this as 16 is to 9 ratio only but i will crop this like this so that the pillar covers the entire length of my video so now you can see it has been zoomed in so what I will do, I want to start transition after this over here, after this pillar. So what I will do, I will bring the diff, uh, another video below this, keep project settings and I will start masking after this pillar. So you can see this frame. So I will keep my video over here and go to the top uh, half. I will cut this video, I, you can cut this video if you want but what you will do, you will just double click on it and go into mask and here we will select the line mask and I will drag this over here like this and click on add. Now I will go one frame ahead, let me just drag this out, then I will go one frame ahead, there is no uh, you can see a little this over here wall over here so i'll bring this as well ahead i'll go one more frame ahead you can see the wall moving now what you need to do you just need to you just need to track this wall with this frame go one frame ahead again select this masking over here and expand this so you need to do this keep on doing this till this free uh, pillar reaches over here and we have the complete next video in line so i'll fast forward this bit see you on the other side So this took a lot of time so keyframing one at a time one frame at a time takes a lot of time so as you saw i just uh, started with the first block of the frame where the frame of pillar ends and then started to add a, I added a mask and started to frame one frame at a time and kept on kept on moving to the right side so now let's i'm done let's see how this mask transition works So as you can see there was a smooth transition from left to right and the transition happened and as you can see the, all the movement were in the one direction the movement of the cycler cyclers were in from right to left in other video also there was right to left so make sure you when you're doing this transition the movement of the characters are from one direction to the other and when you're doing the transition after the transition the characters of the different video are also in the same motion this would give a very good uh, viewing effect to the users to the viewers I would say. 
kid there is by the way there is another masking tutorial where i have tried to change the sky color from day to night you can check that out from the top right corner so that's it guys from my side see you guys in another video till then see ya